after the thrilling race that we had at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the championship battle has stretched out even further for Juan Romero and the 87 team. However, two road courses stand in the way with these next two races for the Hurst Sprint Series. The last two road courses of the season, Road America and Watkins Glen. Two very fast, very treacherous places. And you have to be careful each and every lap with each of these coming races. It's not over yet in this Hurst Sprint Series Championship. Anything can happen, and especially here when we come to one of the greatest road courses in the world. It's Road America here in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin for the Wisconsin Grand Prix. It's Sprint Series Night in America here from Wisconsin. Hello everybody, this is AG here, and I should have said it's Sprint Series Night in America from Road America, I just now thought of that, but hey, we are here at Road America for Sprint Series Night in America, and an 8 lap race here around this 4 mile road course in Elkhart Lake, and it's going to be a fun one as it always is, and of course, with this being a road course, we have a cycle of pit stops for these guys here in the Sprint Series, and that changes things up a little bit for these guys, and I used to doing those pit stops, only a few races in the season that have those pit stops, and very well shake up the order in this one but Matt Black Christian Master on the front row a huge opportunity for both of these drivers to get their first wins of the season and for Matt Black's case his first career win Juan Romero's kind of midway through the field after winning it in the last week but I'm alongside Drew Webb the driver who won the Wall Walk Cup Series championship last year you struggled here in this race a year ago in the Wall Walk Cup Series of course we'll see the starting lineup later on tonight after we're done here but what are you looking forward to seeing in this race here tonight that you might take in on Saturday for the Storm Bowling 400K? Well, I'm definitely looking at track position here and how much that's going to factor into things, whether starting up front's really going to factor in or whether that strategy, like you mentioned, that pit stop is going to change things up today. We could have some crazy shakeups on pit road as these drivers aren't very experienced on pit road, but we'll just have to see how it shakes out here tonight. It's going to be a fun one, as it always is, and so many opportunities to make passes here, and these guys are sliding around all over the place in these Xfinity Series cars as well. And hey, you know what? Who knows how it's going to play out with these GNS physics, because we're going to see a bit of a different race today than what we'll see on Saturday, because this race only half the length, and these guys, I think they slide around a little bit more than they do over in the Cup Series. We're going to go ahead and get these guys to roll off here now, since we've got such a long pace lap here at Road America. And we'll go ahead and get these drivers to roll off here from Road America, and we'll take a look at the point standings coming into this one. Only six races remain until the championship is officially decided at Darlington. However, the way the points look right now, it's very possible the championship could be decided a race early. You have Guan Romero, who is your points leader. By 34 points ahead of Nathan Faden. Faden does start a couple positions ahead of him in this race. Uh, that's drops in the bucket in terms of catching up to that 87 in this championship. Corey Case driving the number 99 this weekend is 37 points behind. They are realistically the only three drivers who have any opportunity at winning this championship. Chris Reynolds is 65 behind. Brandon Nelson is 66 behind. Just a little bit too far behind for those drivers. We'll have to see how all it goes down in these final six races. Of course, two of them being road courses is going to make things very interesting. We got Matt Black in the number 50 machine starting on the pole position alongside Christian Master. An opportunity for both of those drivers to get their first wins of the season. We got BB Ruiz, and how about this? Only a second start of the year on the channel. Got a great lap in Indianapolis starting third, and that's a great place to start here at Road America alongside Dylan Matthews there in row two. We got Joshua Brown, Santiago Labarito making up row number three. How about the 80 machine, or should I say the 13 machine, of Leonard Koshmer to the inside of the 57 of Carson Miller. Anthony McClure and Baltazar Steep in row five. You got Nathan Faden, Andrew Williams in row six. Stuart Gratton and Duncan Ward in row number seven. Stuart Gratton almost getting the win last week in Indianapolis. Still going for his first win in almost six years on the channel. Your future team owner, by the way, as well, Drew. So I know you're rooting for him right there. You got the 87 to Guadalajara Romero starting to the outside of Brandon Nelson. Deeper in the field. We'll have to see what Romero can do from that starting position. Skyler Taylor and Chris Reynolds. You got the 96 of Josh Petty and then the 80, the 02, I should say. Or sorry, Skyler Taylor's alongside Corey Case, and then Josh Petty's alongside Chris Reynolds. 
with Joey Brown in the 0-2 at the back of the field. Matt Grice in the 4, Aaron Abel in the 90, and then Alexander Rowe in the 93. All right, with all that in mind, Drew, who do you think is going to go to victory lane here in this Wisconsin Grand Prix? Eight laps of action and a cycle of pit stops later on. We'll have to see how it all goes down. Well, despite the pit stops, I still value track position here. So I've been going back and forth between our drivers on the front row. But I really think tonight's the night Matt Black gets it done in the 50. Matt's been putting in some great lap times as of late, some pretty good starting positions. I think tonight's the night Matt Black finally gets it done in the 50. We'll have to see. Of course, this is Matt's eighth start of the season. So he hasn't been in too many races Coming up to this point, but we'll have to see what he can do there. Starting from the pole, of course, Christian Master has been in every race so far this season. Hasn't been the best of seasons for him, but looking to get his first win in this series as well. And of course, with two road course races coming up here, how do you think that's going to shake things up? Not only here in the Sprint Series Championship, but in the Wawa Cup Series title race as well. Only six races left to go in both series. Well, road course racing is just such a chaotic discipline, honestly. There's a bunch of drivers who you might see up front at the ovals that might run at the back at the road courses. You saw that with Thomas Troxel and I at Road America last year. We had some chaos there. It shook up the championship standings, and I don't think that'll be any different. I think we'll see some massive swings in the championship. And, of course, it's a lot tighter over there on the Wall Wall Cup Series, so Saturday's race is going to be interesting. We get a preview of that here tonight with Sprint Series Night and Road America. It's going to be a lot of fun here for eight laps in the Wisconsin Grand Prix. Matt Black and Christian Master go up the hill. And here we go. Green flag is about to fly here for the 27th race of the season here in the 2024 HER Sprint Series. Green flag is in the air. We're underway here at Road America. Good jump there for both of our drivers starting front row, but it looks like Matt Black's going to get the advantage, and he will. Christian Master going to file in the second. Dylan Matthews, and we have some guys almost look like they're going off right there on the rumble strips and what have you. They're all over the place in the back of the field right now, but clean out and ahead is Matt Black in the 50. Then it's Christian Master. Dylan Matthews got side-by-side -side between B.B. Ruiz and Santiago Labarito. How about Joshua Brown right here? And this is a trouble spot going down this hill on the turn number five. These guys can tend the jam up quite a bit right here. It looks like everyone's going to get out of it cleanly, but it's still a madhouse in the back of the field right there. And Juan Romero, our points leader, is right in the middle of it. Yeah, a very chaotic race start, and Romero has to be very careful here. Even with the comfortable lead in the championship, you know, it could get crazy back there. If you wreck out, things could change massively, but still... Crazy racing back here. You can see Grattan to the inside. We have one driver off the road, but everybody still managing to keep it relatively clean as we head through the carousel. Of course, the carousel is a very treacherous spot. Just ask Griffin Lynn eight years ago, and Stuart Grattan's driver. And I got say I can say that now, and I'm sorry to remind you of that, Stuart. Tyler Selzman went on to get that race win that had, ended up giving Tyler Selzman the championship that season. Of course, a little different now the way we do things, so points are all it's about. And a race win doesn't really give you much. Gives you a lot of points, but doesn't guarantee you anything, and that's the beautiful thing about it when it comes to the points racing. You have to be consistent the whole way through. Nathan Faden only a couple of positions ahead of Juan Romero right here. Not necessarily a position he wants to be in, but every point matters, and, and all it takes is one wreck out of Guadalajara Romero and a win out of Nathan Faden in the same race for the championship battle to be back in full swing. But Faden's still ahead right there. It's going to be Matt Black leading lap number one. Dylan Matthews looking on second on Christian Manser. She's only gotten one win this season. That was at Atlanta all the way back in the fourth event of the year. And since then, kind of just been hanging on. Santiago's a little wide right there, and B.B. Ruiz going to take fourth away. Joshua Brown looking to take a position as well. These guys really sliding through turn number three. 
And as they go underneath the Sargento Bridge, I don't think it's uh, Sargento anymore. This is an older version of this track, of course, and uh, we got a bunch of the older stuff on here, but what a great race course this is, and so much fun seeing these cars go around it. Yeah, starting to get sketchy here between Christian Master and Dylan Matthews Ooh, for second position. Keeping it clean. Oh, wow, off the Brad track right off. there. Wow. Getting real sketchy back in the pack, but you know, that's just how much these drivers want it. They're willing to run another driver off the track, or maybe run themselves off the track in pursuit of gaining positions. And who knows where you're going to find the speed here today. Of course, so many places to go off and so many places to find extra speed. It's definitely a challenging course. Leonard Cochran to the inside of Santiago Laparito. And Laparito falling way back. That five machine. I'm wondering if there's something up with that five machine. Because he is lost. Going to be three positions if Kochmer gets to the inside. The kink, a very treacherous spot on this course. You go really fast through there. And you get that wall that's peeking right out at you. Bratton able to clear Andrew Williams. And now you got Duncan Ward and Nathan Faden jumped up behind that 53 machine. And now you also got Romero you know, starting to lose some ground to Nathan Faden in this one. And Gratton was off. And Faden's going to get around Gratton right there through Canada Corner. And... How about all this madness? They're three wide Whoa. off Canada Corner coming up the hill in the turn 14. Oh my goodness, this is some fun stuff we've got going on in there. Keeping it clean, or are they? Whoa. Joey Brown almost took out Guan Romero, but he didn't. Gentleman wow, moves right there out of Joey Brown not to crash our championship leader. All right, back up front. How about Matt Black now as they battle side by side for a second? Dylan Matthews. Trying to get the inside on Christian Master. And Matthews will clear for a second as Joshua Brown has a shot on B.B. Ruiz for position. Positions trading everywhere. This is fantastic stuff right here. In the front of the pack, in the middle of the pack, in the back of the pack, all going at it. But look at this battle right here. Looks like Ruiz is going to clear right there. But wow, we just had quite the chaotic sequence right there. And I don't think it's going to calm down as we head towards this pit cycle right here. Here's a move being made by Kochmer. Uh, I believe that move not completed. But you can see these drivers all over the place right here. And just a preview of what we're going to see on Saturday. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward to that cup race on Saturday. Of course, our last road course race over there was Montreal, and we know how that one ended up playing out, and I definitely think there's a possibility we could see a non-chaser get the win. Justin Zidell won here in America last year in the Cup Series, and uh, that's his one and only win in the Cup Series as well, so going to be fascinating to see how it all ends up going down. How about a Leonard Costner around Carson Miller right there? Of course, he was in a battle with Labarito not too long ago, holding these guys up a little bit off on the exit of the carousel right there, and someone's way off! That's Chris Reynolds, Whoa. and right there... That's what I was talking about. It looks like he's going to avoid hitting the wall, but he's going to fall all the way to the back of the field right there. And surprisingly, with all that is going on, no one has actually wrecked out in this race, and all 24 drivers are still up. I take that back. Josh Petty in the 96 is on the pit lane. I don't know what exactly happened to him. It doesn't appear that he has much damage, but it looks like we've had our first casualty of the day here in this Wisconsin Grand Prix. Yeah, very unfortunate for Josh Petty, but Matt Black out here starting to gap the rest of the field. And this is big for Matt Black heading into this pit cycle. You want to have a little bit of a gap, so in case anything goes wrong, you can maintain that lead. So Matt Black maintaining a healthy cushion over Dylan Matthews, but still, once again, the middle of this pack is treacherous. And with championship contenders back there, you got to watch out. Nathan Faden... While it's not too many positions for him, he is still significantly ahead of Gon Romero right now. Of course, he's going to lose a couple of spots right there, at least one to Stuart Gratton. Gratton's going to get around him right there in the 64. And that'll bring those two guys within five positions. So as they run, it'll be a 29-point lead for Romero heading in the Watkins Glen. Corey Case is also ahead of Romero at the moment. That would be 36 points for Corey Case. So still very much in contention as these guys get into it. Joshua Brown, Santiago Labarito. Labarito trying to get to the inside of the 80 machine. You know, while all this battle is going on, Matt Black has just run a clean race and has pulled away to a near two-second lead right here. And this is a huge opportunity for Matt Black to get his first career win on the channel. Of course, we've seen a few guys get their first career wins. Leonard Kochmer, Duncan Ward, Joey Brown, all getting their first career wins not too long ago. And 
It'll be interesting to see if we get another first timer here in the Sprint Series. The next season in the Sprint Series, and you know, we're not making things official quite yet. But uh, odds are we're going to be going back to every car being signed up each and every week. So we're going to have more drivers in the field each and every week. And they're going to be cycling through even more than they are right now. So those 10 full-time drivers are going to go away for the Sprint Series. And uh, they might be moved to something else. Well, that's all I'm going to say about that. But a little preview as to what we might do in 2025. As we got Christian Master under fire from BB Ruiz. That is for the third position. And B.B. Ruiz is yep. going to be a team owner in the Turkey Hill Truck Series this coming season. Getting his feet wet here behind the wheel of the Sprint Series. Of course, ran in these cars in the National Series a couple of years ago. So he has some experience with these machines. As we are now halfway through this Wisconsin Grand Prix here at Road America. No strategy yet right here. But side by side into one is Ruiz and Master. Christian Master trying to hold the outsides. Here we go, here's another battle. Stuart Gratton sending it into tie to Baltazar Steep, but Steep able to maintain the outside right there, looking pretty good. Ooh. More side-by-side -side action over here as Labarito looks to the inside. Still absolutely wild through here. It just looks like everybody's fighting for every position, every lap. But meanwhile, Matt Black, you know, Dylan Matthews starting to close just a little bit. Matt Black just trying to run clean laps, but Dylan Matthews has been closing as of late. We'll see how that shakes out. And this 39 does look pretty quick. She has pulled away from Christian Master significantly. Meanwhile, all these guys are still just jammed up back in here trying to battle for a position. And I believe the cycle is going to begin around lap number six. It's going to be right near the end of this race for these guys. So it's going to be interesting to see what the strategy is. Tire fall off here, Road America, is not that significant. Uh, not like how it was at IRP for the Cup guys, so you know, we may just be able to gas and go and possibly get the win. Of course, there is still some fall off, and you definitely want to get fresh tires in the Cup race on Saturday, but... Oh no! Ruiz is off, and that's going to end his day hard in the tire barrier for the 25. Oh no. Oh, and Baltazar Steep's oh, also one. off behind all of that right there. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Very so that's, chaotic. that's two guys out of the race now, Josh Petty and B.B. Ruiz. And what a shame there for B.B. Ruiz. Going to have an opportunity to get in this race victory and having a good run. Let's see where he is in terms of the fastest lap he had. And he wasn't up there. Gratton has the fastest lap right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Just wait for next week. Let's see mm -hmm. if anyone comes down right here. Christian Master is going to start this strategy off and... This is a good call for Master and this team because, hey, you're going to be able to make it from here on out. Why not short pit? You lost that time to the top two. We're going to see what this 56 machine can, in fact, do. It looks like he's the only one coming down this lap. Oh, no. We also got Aaron Abel down the pit lane as well in the 90 machine. And I'm telling you what. Th this is going to be a good race. We, I don't think we quite know who's going to win this thing yet because pit lane could get really dicey here in America. And Dylan Matthews looks to be the fastest driver on the racetrack right now. Dylan Matthews absolutely flying right here, closing on Matt Black, and we'll just have to see how this shakes out. This race could be won on the pit lane, but you know what? With the rate that Dylan Matthews is flying right now, I wouldn't be surprised if this race is decided on the racetrack right here, right now. Matthews really trying to close right here. And, of course, Dylan Matthews, a lot more experienced than Matt Black. Of course, she has a win on the channel. She ran nearly a full Cup Series season last year, so... You know, while that means absolutely nothing in a non-rating series, everything's equal ratings for these guys, I still like to pretend sometimes that, uh, you know, that experience does matter. And sometimes it plays out that way. You know, in the IndyCar series, it seems like uh, the same guys win all the time over there, and that is an equal rating series, so you just never know what you're going to get here on the channel. That's why we love doing it. That's why I've, I'm still doing it after 10 years, you know? That, that's what you got to look forward to, Drew, with the... You starting up your stuff over there. Of course, hey, check out Drew Webb's stuff. Uh, DPROL Cup Series and all that he does. He does an excellent job. He's got a little channel in our Discord server, so you can check him out. And I always like supporting up and coming NR YouTubers and uh, keeping this game and this community running. It means so much to me and my life. It has changed my life in so many ways for the better and uh, absolutely love it. And that's why I'm still here today yelling in front of this microphone, in front of this computer with these two guys battling out for this race lead. We're coming to two laps to go. And, oh boy, they're really going to stretch it here, aren't they? They really want to wow. go for it. 
So Joshua Brown, Santiago Labrito coming down the pit lane here. Anthony McClure also coming down. Stuart Cratton. They're going to try to stretch it all the way to the end here at Road America. And I'm wondering wow, that if that is the right call or not. We will have to see. But they've got two laps to go. Of course, a four-mile-long lap. But we've got a great battle for the lead between Matthews and Black right here. Matthews all over. Going to use the bumper right there. I think there was a little bit of contact. Matthews looking on Matt Black here. This is one of those good passing zones right here. we got a long straightaway into a decently sharp corner. Can Matthews make it work on the outside? We'll have to see into the corner. Oh, wheezing. Not quite. But not quite. But will she try the crossover here on the 50 machine? Matt Black doing a great job trying to get that momentum into the corner correctly. And he is going to hold on to the race lead for now. So Kochmer stays out. Carson Miller, Nathan Faden, Romero stayed out. Joey Brown also staying out there. Matt Grice and Skyler Taylor. And here's Christian Master in the 56. And he's not too far off the race lead after coming down right there. He may have also just topped off on fuel. So we're going to have to see if Matt Black and Dylan Matthews have enough to be able to beat the 56 off the pit lane. Matt Black's also got to be careful not to overshoot the carousel. Dylan Matthews is going to have a good run here off the carousel. And these guys are going to have to come down the pit lane as they take the white flag here at Road America, which is going to make things very, very interesting and fascinating here in this race. Matthews is going to try to get around this 50 machine here before this cycle here for these guys. We're going to have to see, maybe make the pass on the pit lane. The rest of these drivers have come off the pit lane, so everyone back in here from Master on down has come down. We still have a few guys who have yet to make a stop. Oh, no, Leonard Kochmer in the no. 13. Off the course and in the tire barrier. All right, here we go. How's it going to play out? They take the white flag on the pit lane here at Road America. This is going to be fascinating, and I feel like Christian Master has a good shot here now. Because that 56 machine has been out there for quite a bit. So white flag for Matt Black on the pit lane. And now here's another thing about Road America. That first pit stall is sometimes a little hard to get out of. But imagine it's going to be gas and go for these guys. No need to take tires for one lap. Oh, here we go. They're going to be right on each other here. And is Christian Master closing in on our top two. Dylan Matthews has a better launch off the pit lane than the 50 machine. They're still right on each other. Master coming down the hill here. We'll have to see if he has enough momentum to catch up to the top two. But the battle is still on for the race lead here on this final lap at Road America. These two going at it hard. Matthews once again all over the bumper but running out of passing zones. We got a couple more good zones right here. But Matthews is going to have to make the move quick. It looks like they're both clear of Master. So it's going to be between these two. But can Dylan Matthews make the pass and secure the win on the final oh, lap here? Oh, peeking down to the, the inside, inside, and here we go. Very Matthews trying right to get the there. inside lane now through turn number six, and she's got it, and they're side by side on the final lap of the race here in the Sprint Series from Road America. Oh, Matthews going to try to get the outside lane right here. Going into turn number eight, this is going to be really tight, but Matthews has the advantage. And it looks like now she had to check up just a little bit more. Matt Black with a better run. Matt Black's going to have the inside through the carousel. They remain side by side. Even through the carousel and contact made between Matt Black and Dylan Matthews. And they're bumping off each other on this final lap. Matthews trying to get the run on the outside lane. They're still side by side. They're going to be side by side through the kink. They've got to be careful here. They remain side by side. Matthews trying to get the run on the outside lane. She's got it. She's got him cleared. And only three more corners to go for Dylan Matthews here at Rowan America in the Wisconsin Grand Prix. And what a heartbreak for Matt Black if he's not going to be able to get this one. Only two more corners left. Turn 13, turn 14. How about this for Dylan Matthews? Evans Ross Racing. It's going to be her second win of the season here in the HERS Sprint Series. And up the hill she goes. Dylan Matthews is going to get the race win here at Road America. The 39 team gets it done. The Wisconsin Grand Prix goes to Minnesota native Dylan Matthews in the 39. Minnesota. We're, we're in Wisconsin. I guess you don't like me saying Minnesota here. I don't know. Wow, what a race there at the end. Here from the Sprint Series at Road America. Wow.
Wow, I cannot believe that. The last lap battle, that was incredible. That's some of the best stuff I have ever seen at Road America. I just cannot believe what we just saw. Mm, 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 mm. You looking forward to Saturday now? <laughs> oh, absolutely, no doubt about it. We're gonna have to see if you pull some moves like that to maybe get your second win of the season. We have to watch and find out on Saturday with the Storm Bowling 400K. Oh, we love this place, don't we? Road America has been a road course. As a matter of fact, the first ever road course race officially done on the channel was here at Road America. We absolutely love this place, and that right there is why. What a battle right there. Matt Black led every lap except the last one, and Dylan Matthews overtakes him on the last lap, and what a battle it was there. One of the best battles of the season here in the Sprint Series. And on top of that, Dylan Matthews also gets the poll for Watkins Glen. And I want to be honest with you right here, Stuart Gratton is loving that. Because if you know how Watkins Glen works, that outside lane is where you want to be at the start of the race. And Gratton's going to be right there next week at Watkins Glen to maybe get that first win in six years. So that's going to be interesting. Of course, Gratton does officially have to sign up, but he better be signing up for Watkins Glen, considering where he is going to be starting. Dylan Matthews will get the pole, though. That's a guarantee for next week at Watkins Glen. Looking to go back-to-back -back on the road course for Evans Ross Racing. There's the rest of the starting grid right there. The rest of the fastest laps, at least, and everyone who does return next week will line up in that order. Well, Drew, how about that? We, we always love seeing great racing on the channel. We saw a great one here tonight, and with what you saw here in this one, what are you looking forward to? with Saturday Storm Bowling 400K. Well, I'm looking forward to hopefully avoiding all that chaos and that mess and at least coming home decent. That was unbelievable. I'm still in shock over that, that battle and I expect to see more of the same in the Cup Series. It was unbelievable today, but just think, when the chase is on the line, when the points lead is on the line, when the championship is on the line, think about how desperate these drivers will get, including myself, to try and get a win at Road America. That was fun. I'm speechless after that one. That was some good stuff there, and uh, that really makes me look forward to Saturday's race. And uh, let me tell you, Saturday's race is going to be great. I mean, we know how great it's been in the Wawa Cup Series, and I tell you what, it's shaping up to be another doozy in the championship. And uh, Road America is just going to flip everything over because, you know, you're going to see that starting lineup right there. There are probably going to be some of those chase drivers who are down lower than you would expect them to be, and that's just the nature of this road course. Not everybody's a road course racer. Heck, Chase Buck won Montreal, and Chase Buck has not been the class of the field this year like he was last year, so a huge equalizer, a huge wild card race, and we got two of them in a row because we got Road America and then Watkins Glen. You know how Watkins Glen is, and we'll have to see who comes out of the uh, road course swing alive here where we head into Richmond two weeks from now. But my goodness, what a race here at Road America. And in terms of the championship here, Nathan Faden's going to close in a little bit on Guan Ramiro, but not too much. But every point matters, and now it's going to be down to 31 points going to Watkins Glen. Romero crashes out in the race, Faden wins, and then it's back to being real close again. So with five races left to go, it's still far from over, but... Romero still holding on to that point lead as we close in on the finale of the season. But either way, thank you so much for watching once again. Congratulations to Dylan Matthews on a race victory here at Road America. Minnesota native. I'm so sorry I messed that up. Uh, I was trying there. You know, I got too excited. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining me, Drew. Great to have you on board as well. And uh, you can catch Drew and all the other stars of the Wall Wall Cup Series Saturday at noon Eastern time right here at Road America for the Storm Bowling 400K don't miss it because hey you know what there's no other racing going on so you better better check it out you know that's just actually arca's going on arca's got races you know so we got some of that well we got this olympic break you know so check out some arca racing <laughs> do it for the memes hey i mean we get better racing here i feel like than we do in the arca series you know but hey we're having fun that's what counts right thank you so much for watching once again Huge thanks to Drew Webb. Here are the points for the HERS Sprint Series after 27 races. Congratulations to Dylan Matthews on a race victory, and I will see you guys later.